All right, welcome back everyone. It's Nohai here. And in this video, we're back with another Borderlands 3 Legendary Gear Guide. And in this one, I'll be showing you guys how to get the Legendary Jacob's Pistol, the Amazing Grace. Now the red text of this weapon says Memento Mori, plus 73% weapon damage, plus 21% critical hit damage, plus 60% weapon accuracy, and a five times weapon zoom. Uh, returns one bullet to your magazine with every critical hit. Uh, the damage is 2,045, accuracy 65%, handling 85%, reload time 1.6 seconds, fire rate 2.10 a second, and a 4 magazine size. Now this is a Jacob's weapon, and there's not many of them in Borderlands history that come with an element, and this one is the same. This one does not have an element. You can also get different prefixes on it as well. Mine is dastardly. Now, in order to get this, you're going to want to make your way right here to Devil's Razor, and you're going to make your way to Boomtown, Devil's Razors on Pandora. Now, if you haven't unlocked Boomtown yet, there's a quest right here where I'm hovering over that you get from Tiny Tina where you can unlock it. If you don't have it yet, you'll have to spawn in a Roland's Rest. Make your way over there do that quest to unlock Boomtown, which is right here. Now, once you unlock it, you're going to make your way up this ladder right here, all the way up to the top, and you're going to find Mordecai, and he is going to give you the quest... In to get this weapon now I'm waiting for the quest name to actually pop up because I actually forgot what it's called but as soon as you pop pops up you'll see it life of the party that's it right there that's the quest you're gonna be looking for now uh, it's gonna tell you to go pick some flowers the flowers are like that go pick those flowers and then bring it up to where it tells you to go to this house place them there and then after you've done all of the party activities now this is very important do not beat any of Grace's records, the little girl that you're having the party for, don't beat any of her records for this quest. You always want to, like, you know, not beat them. Don't break any of her records for any of the activities you do. One's like eating cake, there's a shooting range, stuff like that. Don't beat any of them, and you'll be able to get this weapon. Now, once you're done with all the activities, as you can see here, you get the weapon drop right there after you talk to the other guy there at the party. Now, the first set of game plan I'm going to be showing you guys here with the weapon is on normal mode. There's no mayhem mode active on this one. And you're going to see here, it's, it's doing pretty good damage. It's not terrible. Anybody. There's about 6k damage right there on that shot. It's not terrible. And as you can see here, if you hit a critical hit, you get the shot back. And I've kind of redone my flak field, and I kind of went back to leave no trace. And also Megavore. So I'm kind of getting shots back pretty uh, regularly with this gun. Now, as you can see here, the fire rate is pretty slow on this weapon. That's one of the drawbacks for me. I don't like the fire rate being as slow, but I get why it is because it's meaning for you to be more accurate so you can get the shots back in the magazine. And uh, yeah, this is similar to other weapons in this game. There's, a, there's one other assault rifle for some reason. I cannot think of the name of it. But it is one of the uh, better assault rifles in this game. This uh, That weapon also does a very similar thing to this weapon as it refills the magazine size for each critical hit. Now, like most other Jacob's weapons, when you hit a critical hit, the bullet will ricochet to other enemies. This weapon does not, uh, as far as I can tell, I don't think this weapon does that. Uh, I think it is replaced by the, you know, you get the one bullet back for hitting a crit instead of the crit ricochets to other enemies. Now, I might be wrong about that, but my gameplay for what I was seeing, I didn't see any bullets ricochet. Now, here we're swapping to Mayhem 4. You can see my modifiers right there. I think I did get some pistol damage added on. But this is Mayhem 4. Enemies are a lot more tankier in Mayhem 4, so I decided to show what this gun does in Mayhem 4. And it's still doing good damage. It's not terrible it's not amazing but it's still doing decently good damage it's not the worst gun in the world and especially on mayhem 4 it's doing it's definitely doing decent damage because mayhem 4 definitely made a lot of enemies more tankier and overall this weapon is still going through the health bar at a decent rate it's not like i said it's not terrible but that's all i have in this video guys feel free to leave a like comment and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video and found it useful and I'll see you guys in the next one.